if you need any Xbox or PlayStation codes or any cheap PC games, use the referral link in the description. It will take you over to G2A.com. They already have a discount on most of their goods. And if you use the code CHEZ at checkout, you can get yourself an extra 3% off as well. Hey guys, how's it going? Chez back again and welcome to episode number 14 of the AC Milan career mode series here on FIFA 16. We start with a game at home against Napoli in the Coppa Italia. It is the quarter final round of that competition. Hopefully we can get ourselves through to the semis and stand the chance of winning the domestic cup this season. Then there's less than a week to go until deadline day and there's also a Milan derby on deadline day. So that's going to be a very important day for us. Thank you for all of your feedback so far on the transfer window. We have £8 million left. If we aren't able to get anything done by the end of the window or by close to the end of the window, then what I will try and do is put it all into the wage budget and pick up at least Pato on a pre-season, on a pre-contract. If not, maybe we may, perhaps, if I put it all there, we might be able to afford both Pato and Ebro. I'm not sure. I doubt it. But uh, we're still trying to raise some money, of course, with the sales of, if I go into the transfer list, with the sales of uh, potentially Simic, Mexes, Luis Adriano and Honda. Verdi, I think I am going to keep for now. So potentially not looking for a cam. But if Luis Adriano goes, we may actually have the money to replace him as a striker in this window. So we could, we could bring in uh, maybe Pato. I wouldn't buy Pato permanently if I don't have to, but we could bring in someone like Sebastian Giovinco or uh, then I'm sure there'd be a couple of other signings we could look at at striker, like Simone Zaza has come up quite a bit uh, in the comments section. Lorenzo Insigne could maybe play at striker. I know uh, Berardi can definitely play at striker. He's got 80 finishing. So uh, Jose Callahan can play at Cam. We could maybe move Menez up to striker. There are plenty of options, and I'm sure I could have another look in the, uh, in the transfer window, but I or in the transfer market for another striker. But I would like to get a right back in as my first main purchase. So if we don't have enough money to get a right back in, we won't get one. But we could afford someone like Cristiano Pacini now. But I would like someone like um, Alessandro Florenzi. We've offered again for him and we'll see what they say. But without any further ado, we will jump into the game against Napoli. Drop the video a like if you enjoy. Subscribe to the channel too if you haven't to this point to see how we get on for the rest of the season. Whether we can uh, win the Coppa Italia, although that depends on whether we can win now against Napoli. And whether we can qualify for Europe in Serie A. We are currently in fifth place with a game in hand on Lazio and Napoli. And if we win up that game in hand, we will go third and into Champions League positions. We're starting, if we can, especially if we can win the game in hand, to create a gap to those outside of the European spots. So it is vital that we win that game in hand. However, I believe that game in hand is the game against uh, Inter on transfer deadline day. So big couple of games coming up right now. Cup quarter final and then a Milan derby. Let's see how we get on. David Lopez into Hamsik. Plays it around the corner to Kaya Hon. Turns Antonelli nicely. Callejon into Higuain. Lays it back to David Lopez, who then strikes it against Higuain. And it goes out for a goal kick. First chance of the game comes and goes. That did say transfer confirmed, but I skipped that before I could see who it was. Pogba has gone to Atletico Madrid, though. That's a transfer I can tell you about. Pogba to Atletico Madrid for 52 or so million pounds. Big, big deal. Out of Serie A into La Liga. Massive for the league title race as well with Juventus losing arguably their best player although they have quite a squad at Juventus so whether Pogba's their best best player I'm not sure Menez will look for oh, Jorginho and it will eventually find him playing against his former team obviously Jorginho ref do you mind if they score from this move I will be pissed because I was building something quite nice there Kejohan will come down the right hand side but El Sarawi will get the tackle in thank you we won it back in fact we'll go back to Stefan El Sarawi Kejohan is a player we are potentially looking at as we are Hisai at right back that's playing for Napoli now, who's closing me down here with El Sarawi, but uh, I'm going to fire this through to Jorginho. Oh, the turn was not as it needed to be. If we'd have been able to get a decent turn in there, he could have had a shot and we could have stood a chance of getting the first goal of the game. El Sarawi, back up, around the corner to Menez. Kutzka's there. I'll dink this looking for Bernadeschi out on the wide right so that we get it away from... Gulam and Bernadeschi's in and the shot is blocked by Vlad Shira says that's going to be a corner to AC Milan good block by the defender Bernadeschi doesn't have the best of shooting stats and unfortunately that's a terrible corner as well so two shots one for each side and also two shots blocked one for each side oh great feet by Insigne 
completely drew me in there and then danced away from me. Up against Matias De Chilio, who's done particularly well to come away with the ball there. De Chilio wouldn't be replaced in the starting lineup should we get a new right back in in this window. I would simply swap De Chilio to left back and then Antonelli would actually find himself out of the first team spot as De Chilio is a youngster. We really want to grow in this series. El Shah, though, is in the box and still going. Stefan El Sarawi tries to turn his side. Koulibaly can't and goes down injured. That's not a good sign. Hopefully he gets up sooner rather than later. He isn't, and we are going to have to take El Shah off. That puts slight concerns as to what to do for the rest of the transfer window. But it depends how long he's out for. If he's only out for a short while, then we should be okay. Having to be forced off the pitch, so it doesn't bode well. He's holding his ankle. We just have to hope and pray that he's all right. Hamshik, then the cross comes in, but Menez gets a block on it. And I'll tell you what, counter-attack maybe, Bonaventura looking for Jeremy Menez. Away we go. Baca is there making the run down the line. But I'm going to turn inside. I'm going to try and use a couple of runs as decoys. And then I see the man on the far side. It's actually Mattia De Chilio pushing forward from right back. Eventually we'll get this under control. Dances past the defender. Cross comes in. There's Menez. Oh, and he's headed wide. Was it Menez or Bonaventura? It was Bonaventura. Gorgeous opportunity to give us the lead on the stroke of half-time. Their confirmation, as we mentioned earlier, Pogba to Atleti for £52 million from Juventus. Big signing. Biggest we've seen in this save so far. Not just this window, this save. Jorginho, Kutska, Menez, back up. Slot through Menez again, who's in the box. Jeremy Menez tried to slide. And now Menez has gone down hurt. Please get up, Jeremy. I cannot deal with two injured players. Jorginho to Kutska, to Menez, quickly to Baca, out wide to Bernadeschi through the gap as well, that's a lovely ball and we'll turn inside quickly and we'll fire it into the box and Menez arrives and he's powered that into the back of the net, 59 minutes on the clock after Higuain misses a glorious opportunity at one end, we go straight up the other and get ourselves the lead, lovely ball by Baca into Bernadeschi, great turn inside as well and then I just drilled it into the box, not really aiming for anyone in particular, just hoping someone would be on the end of it, Menez was 1-0 AC Milan. Oh, Kutska's going to pick that off. That was a really poor pass. Or we'll play through Carlos Baca, who's hopefully going to have the pace to get away and bury this in the bottom corner, which he has done. Napoli are folding here. Two goals in four minutes. We have ourselves a 2-0 lead. And so far, we look like we're going to be favourites to make it through to the semi-finals now. I don't know what they're doing. Just gave it straight to Kutska. And it was a simple pass and a simple finish. AC Milan 2, Napoli 0. Ball out with a nice ball through to Dries Mertens, perfectly weighted to keep it away from De Chilio, and he's going to put it in the box, but Antonelli is going to put it behind for a Napoli corner. 14 minutes to go. Back with uh, the deciding goal so far to keep us two goals in front. And hopefully that will remain to be the winning goal. Although they might get one back here to open things up for the final few. Dries Mertens trying to get it into the box, but Antonelli steals it away, and then Mertens... Tackles in question of a foul, nothing given, and that is a finish and a half from Jose Callahan with a man at his back to turn and put that into the top far corner is a great finish. 12 minutes to play, and now we really are relying on that Carlos back a second goal to be the winning one. We'll put Jose Mari on it because he's only little. Mari with the corner, in it comes, keepers come, he's going to get there with a punch, but win that header to Chilio, he has done, but Aventura tries to bring it down, we're going to get a free kick in a very promising position, we could end with a third goal, I don't think Baca can take free kicks, can he? 58 accuracy, yeah, no, he's definitely not, Bonaventura, on the other hand, might be able to do something over the wall and straight to Diego Lopez, but that should be, that should be full time. Please ref, yes, we're through to the semi-finals of the Coppa Italia. Right then, let's see if we can get some transfer business done before that Milan derby against Inter. Right, this sucks. El Shrawi is out for three months with a broken ankle. One of our most exciting players, transfer for Donnarumma, which obviously I'm going to be rejecting. Now this makes me desperately want to get Florenzi because he not only can play at right back, but he can play in midfield as well, which means we could play him on the right and free up space for someone on the left. Or maybe Jeremy Menez is going to have to take over on the left and we'll bring in someone else at Cam, like Verdi or Maori. No love lost for Jorginho, apparently. Uh, Scout report on Damian is done. Uh, Abiati, congratulations on steering us closer to the cup final. I hope you don't mind me saying that, but I really want to be a part of this cup run, so I'm totally committed to getting this that trophy in what might be my last season. Ah, oh, I kind of don't want to play, though, unfortunately. £144,000 we get. Match against Carpi's been re-scheduled. Uh, Bid for Jose Maori. 
Apparently in bad form. I don't see that. He's been fantastic for me. Four and a half million pounds from Juve, which is interesting. Not necessarily a Pogba replacement, but still a decent player. And I'm still waiting to hear back from a couple of uh, different offers. Maybe this, or oh, eight emails here. Here we go. Oh, some of them are uh, scout reports. Okay, Manolo Gavidini. Kaysan, I wanted to have a closer look at. Davide uh, Zappa Costa as well. Florenzi. Transfer offer in, and it's for Montalivo. Perfect timing. I'm just going to accept this from Torino. Yes, that's a transfer, or that's a move that we needed to get through, and hopefully that will be done as soon as possible. I'm going to start throwing in bids then for some of the people on my shortlist. And the only thing is, I haven't got the money yet, so I can't really offer big big deals. Florenzi can play uh, right mid, right wing, right back, and centre mid. He's such a great all-round player, and I'm desperate to bring him in now, especially with the injury to... Uh, oh, how good is Zappa Costa? He's all right, but he's not Florenzi level. And I'd probably actually go for Zappa Costa over Piccini as well. So we will remove Piccini from the, transfer, from the uh, list. Uh, Centre-back, uh, we've already brought in Maximovic now, so we don't necessarily need a centre-back. When it comes to the striking options, I would like to bring in Pato now that we have a little bit of extra money, but I do want to bring in someone else first. And that someone else is hopefully going to be... Um, hopefully going to be Florenzi, but it's going to have to wait until deadline day, probably, because we need this Montalivo money, and I also, hopefully, will be able to move on Honda and or Mexes as well. Uh, we'll take you out, Elsa, and we will put, actually, where are you? We'll put Maori up there, we'll put Maori at Cam, and Menes on the left, and we still have Verdi here, so Verdi can... Uh... Oh, we've still got Luis Adriano to sell as well! Oh, I need to get some transfer offers in, please, boys, because I need the money. Two days to go until AC Milan. Brady forces move from Sassuolo. That could be something we could go for, maybe, if we've got the money. Player sold. Verdi wants to play. I'll put you on the bench, then. Uh, I don't want the Swiss national job. Player sold. Montalivo's gone. Right, now we have the money to bid for Florenzi. I'm going to go and bid for Florenzi first. If we can get Luis Adriano sold, or maybe use him as make weight for... Um, where are you, Florence? Where is there? For Berardi, then maybe we could bring Berardi. And apparently I've got an offer already in for Florenzi. What offer was that? I don't remember. Uh, transfer negotiations. What did I offer? To transfer offer. I offered 6 million plus Honda. Let's change that to just 11 million pounds. Oh, please accept that. Please accept that, Roma. I am desperate for you to accept that. I really am. Right then, let's go and play Inter, a side that we uh, lost to last time we played them, and we're desperate for a win at home in uh, this game against our local rivals. Mary gets the ball out round the outside here. We'll look for Bernadeschi first, and then we could try and turn back inside again. It worked in the last game. Bernadeschi looks to drill it into the middle, but Jason Murillo gets the uh, block in corner to come in from Jorginho. I see the man on the edge of the box. I kind of have to. If it's Mari, he could score a good one. It's not. It's Bernadeschi who's on his left foot. Bernadeschi was on target. Miranda gets a block in and we almost get there for the rebound as well. But Miranda this time clears his lines and very well to so and does so very well. There we go. It's words I was trying to get out my face. Menez into Maori. I tell you what, Bacca's has got a little bit of space here. Bernadeschi could be played in. Bernadeschi on his left foot. Shot blocked again for Bernadeschi unfortunately. End to end stuff here. 15 minutes in. Nil nil. Tushilio, Bernadeschi, oh it's a lovely turn, Bernadeschi tearing them apart into Jose Mauri and Handanovic makes the save, could have sworn that was going to be 1-0 there, right I could play it to the man on the edge again but I don't think that's the right thing to do in this situation with a the man there, Jorginho whips it in, flick that, oh I was hoping Davide Santon would kind of put in, whoa, alright Handanovic, I was hoping Santon would put in a poor clearance there but in the end they worked it really nicely and Santon's involved in the attack now and Jovetic will play in Rodrigo Palacio, I don't know what Handanovic was doing by the way back at the other end, Palacio, what a ball, oh Donnarumma claims, back up to Jorginho, get the turn away from William Carvalho, slot in Kutska, there's the man out wide, it's Jeremy Menez trying to twist and turn his way into the box which he's done well, Miranda tackles him, no don't do this to me, don't injure El Sarawi and Menez in the space of two games. Is he going to have to come off? Is he on his feet? He's still down, I think, right now, Menez. I'm looking at the mini-map, and his black little circle isn't moving yet. He's still lying there on the ground. And by concentrating on that, I've given the ball away. And here's Jovetic. We get the tackle in, though. He's walking towards the side of the pitch now. Please don't do this to me, game. Not two of my best players in the space of 
180 minutes. Poke it in front of Backer, who can poke it across to Kutska, who should hopefully have the strength to turn inside and beat the man. Or should they get into a physical battle, that is. But we'll lay the... Ref, that has to be a penalty. Now, is that a red card? I was waiting to lay it off the man that was arriving on the edge of the box. Is it a yellow? Is it a red? I don't think it should be a red. No, it is a yellow. But, penalty. Chance to give ourselves a 1-0 lead here at San Siro at home against Inter. Technically, we're both at home, but Miranda, not Miranda, Backer. I saw Miranda in the top left with the yellow card symbol, and that was just what came out of our mouth. We're 1-0 in front against Inter. Yes. We needed Miranda to make a stupid tackle to give us the opportunity to do so, but we don't care. 1-0 AC. Jovetic fires it into Palacio, whose dodgy first touch actually opens the opportunity up, but Romagnoli will get this away. Perisic. Jajic looking for the ball in. Melo flicks it on and Palacio puts it wide. A couple of really nice flicks there to get the ball in and Palacio threw everything at it, including his entire body, but couldn't get it in the bottom corner, thankfully. Nine minutes to go. Mauro Icardi on for Stefan Jovetic. 1-0 AC Milan, but could that soon be two? Simone Verdi in behind. Verdi to make it two. No. Oh, but it's still good. No. Would have been to, uh, to Verdi. We'll go to Baca. Nice pass. Tell you what, after deciding to sell Verdi, he's actually been impressing me. Baca will look to whip this in the bottom corner. Cleared away and Miranda will break with it. There's five minutes left. Yeah, Verdi's actually been really impressing me. He seems to be pretty good as an impact player off the bench. We'll look to give this to Baca, but that's not quite worked as I had intended. Plasia down the line to Perisic. Up against Maksimovic on his debut. Clean seat so far, good cross, cleared away by Romagnoli. Maximovic underneath it, perhaps. I don't know who won that header, but we've come away with the ball. Verdi shows good strength, Backer. Oh, good turn by Carlos Backer. I'll tell you what, he could be in here. Can he get away? Just trying to shrug off defender after defender after defender. We'll just go for the keep possession option, and that might work for us. Simone Verdi gets the turn in. Can he find the target this time? No, Miranda takes it off him. They clear it out, and there goes the final whistle. A win against... Inter. That shows how far we've come this season, the fact that we did very well against Napoli and we've now beaten Inter as well when both sides kind of put in solid performances against us earlier on in the season and we looked outclassed. We're getting better here at AC Milan and I think that may have done our league campaign the world of good as well. We'll wait and see what the league looks like. Let's have a look. We are fourth with a game in hand on Napoli in third. We could be getting Champions League football next season, boys, perhaps. We are on transfer deadline day now, though. Bale has gone to Paris Saint-Germain for £44 million. No, I was going to go in for Berardi, but he's gone to Atleti for 15 Bollocks. How long is Menez out for? Oh, just three weeks. <whistles> Thankfully, he's not going to be out for long. Oh, I can't believe we got Menez and El Shirawi injured in the same, in the same episode. That sucks. That really, really sucks. Let's put Bonaventura on the left and then we'll put Verdi on the bench. Right, I will cut now and then when something happens on deadline day, I'll show you it. Roma have rejected my offer for Florenzi. They want 16. I can't afford to offer 16. I can't remember what players I've offered in exchange already either. I'll offer 13. I may not be able to get Florenzi in. I've offered... Uh, they're not interested in the player. Well, I offered Luis Adriano... Plus cash. Let's try Keisuke Honda plus cash for Pereira. It's a, long, it's a long shot, Pereira, but it's worth an effort. And I offered also, they are interested in Luis Adriano for Manolo Gabbiadini. Okay. Okay. This might be doable, Manolo Gabbiadini. I really wanted to go out and get... And I decided kind of during that Inter game with Menez going down injured as well that I was going to go and try and get Domenico Baratti. And unfortunately, Atleti have beaten me to him. Pina has gone from Villarreal to Celta Vigo. Roma have accepted the offer for Florenzi. Yes. Right, he wants 60. I'll give him exactly what he wants. Crucial first team player. Please, Florenzi. Please, Florenzi. Uh, not interested. Still want a little bit more money for Gabbiadini. I can't really offer you any more money for Gabbiadini because I'm not going to have it. I might be able to fiddle with the budgets, though. Might be able to fiddle with, with the budgets. We'll offer them... Oh, we'll offer them five and a half plus Luis Adriano. 
Can we make two great signings in this transfer window? I'm going to give up on Pereira because I'm just not going to have enough money. We'll see what happens now. Florenzi contract offer accepted. Florenzi is in. Yes. That's exactly what we needed. Alessandro Florenzi in. That's beautiful. Right, now he wants 60 grand a week. Can I afford... Can I afford... Oh, do I go for Pato on a pre-contract though? Oh, what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? I don't think I can afford Manolo Gabbiadini. Right then, Pato on a pre-contract it is. Uh, I'm going to have to pull out of this deal because I can't afford the five and a half. And we will try and bring in Alex Pato on a pre-contract to bring him back to AC Milan. Approach to sign on contract expiry. He wants a hundred grand. Ooh, shit. Hang on. I'm going to have to mess with the budgets then. He wants a hundred grand. I can probably afford to give him a hundred grand. I can afford to give him a hundred grand. Oh, Alex Pato, are you going to be coming back to AC Milan next season? I very much hope so. Don't know why I broke into weird song there. You want 100 grand a week? You can have it as uh, an important first team player. Sign that, please, Alex. Oh, sign that, please, Alex. So, so far in this window, we have brought in Maximovic and, as we scroll down, Florenzi. That's a good window, I think. That's a good window. We've lost a few players to either injury or sale. chaka has gone to Valencia from Borussia Mucci and Gladbach. Florenzi's in and Pato has accepted the pre-contract. Ladies and gentlemen, Alex Pato is coming back to AC Milan next season. That was one of the biggest things that you guys wanted me to do and we have now done it. Boateng has gone to Barcelona from Bayern as well. No real shocks there, unfortunately. That's a bit of a scripted move. We have no money left. Will we be able to sell anyone, though, between now and the end of the window? I'm not sure. Even if I can, I'm not sure whether I will because I won't have enough time to bring in a replacement. So if anything happens, I'll cut. If it doesn't, then I'll see you for an outro. <laughs> Offer for Stefan Simic. Just going to accept that. Don't want him at the club anymore. 21 years old, 62 rated. Not good enough. We will uh, refuse that. Not refuse that. We will accept that. I met Wall Ertzil to PSG for £58.5 million. All the massive deals are going through right now. We've had an offer for KZK Honda, £4.8 million. If I accept that, what can I do in this window? I'm not sure. I'll accept it though, because Honda isn't even playing in the rotation squad for me right now. So Honda will leave us and we'll have two hours left. We have two hours left? We've got two hours left to do something. So I need to get... No, I don't think I've got enough time left. I need to offer someone something on a pre-contract. Right, I'm going to cut again and I'll be back with you. I think I'm going to go for Andre Carrillo. I've not ever signed him on a pre-contract in a series. I know a handful of people on YouTube have, but what we might use is this deal as our one from outside of Serie A Italian players or former AC Milan players. This will be our one signing this window, this season from outside of those transfer stipulations. And if Andre Carrillo comes in, I will be thrilled. There is an hour left. Just accept it. Please tell me one of those is him accepting. If it is, then we have another new player. He's declined it. No. I'm going to run out of time. I'm going to run out of time. And Ibra wants 180 and I don't have 180 to give him. Oh, I thought, I thought we'd pulled something out of the bag in the last hour. Unfortunately, we haven't. Andre Carrillo turns me down. Well then, I will use that money to... Oh, 79 to 89. He could be decent as a goalkeeper back up to um, Donnarumma. I'll have to send him out on loan. I'll wait until he grows a little bit more though and gets a little bit older. But I'm, what I'll do then is I will put all of the money into the transfer budget and I will buy youth scouts with it. And we'll send our people out on Youth Scout missions. That's going to be all for today's episode then, guys. A dramatic end to uh, transfer deadline day or the transfer window as a whole. But for now, thank you very much for watching. Drop the video a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel too if you haven't to this point to ensure you don't miss out on the rest of the season here, on the rest of the season in the My Player or anything else that goes up on the channel, including hopefully some FIFA 17 wishlist stuff at the weekend as well. But for now, I'll see you next time.